G7 summit just this past weekend in the United Kingdom. World leaders there, uh, hobnobbing, they're posing for pictures, doing doing all the stuff that we were used to them doing. If if anything could make me feel like normal is coming back, it is a international policy talk shop that doesn't really accomplish much. All right, I mean, cynicism aside, a billion doses for the developing world is great. It's also just a drop in the bucket of what's needed. But all right, we we won't be uh, we won't be negative about this. We'll we'll give credit where it's due. Overall, though, when I was watching the leaders of the G7 at this summit, the whole thing had a bit of a, a sense of a victory lap where, hey, we're over this pandemic. That is inevitable. And I understand that there's a public health imperative to continue to treat the pandemic seriously until it's under control everywhere. So long as this thing is raging in the third world, there's going to be every opportunity for new variants to come out. It's it's just a numbers game. Every time one person passes the virus on to another person, there's a chance it mutates. And if it's spreading uncontrolled among billions of people, that's going to be a problem possibly for all of us. So take it seriously by all means. But it's also just inevitable, folks, that the developed countries, once they have this under control, are going to get back to life as normal. Their domestic politics is not going to permit them otherwise. The public of Canada, the United States, the United Kingdom, all the other G7 and even further G20 countries is not going to abide by not returning to normal just because other parts of the world don't have this thing under control. So how do we do it smartly? I think, as already alluded, we need to ramp up the vaccination of the rest of the world. This is just money. And I mean, money matters, but this is not something that's going to be incredibly complicated for us to do. The way we're going to vaccinate the world is by coming up with money to buy vaccines to give to the rest of the world. Like, on the list of hard problems to solve, this is going to be an easy one. We can do this. We should do it with our allies. Keep pumping money into COVAX or whatever. I don't even care what it is. Go right to the manufacturers, buy a billion doses, and say, hey, go have fun. Go give it to Africa or go give it to parts of Asia that don't have enough vaccine coverage. And that's the easy part of all this. The difficult part is going to be managing our return to normal while the rest of the world is not normal. There is pent-up demand in this country for normalcy, for barbecues, for restaurants, for travel. I have, uh, I was saying just on the weekend to my wife, you know, some of our family lives in the, the northwestern United States. Some of our family lives in western Canada. They live very close to each other. They can't see each other because of that dividing line of the border. They would kind of like to get together. This is the kind of pent-up demand for stuff that once would have been totally routine and normal that we from a public health perspective, are probably going to be able to start doing in weeks. This is not this long-term thing anymore. This is not some interminable wait for some you know possible hypothetical future happy outcome. We can probably begin reopening the U.S.-Canada border, I'm not kidding, in two weeks, maybe three weeks. We're going to have to overcome the inherent small c conservatism of Canadian politicians. I don't mean that in a partisan way, obviously. I just mean in a, you know, um, hesitant, risk averse nature of Canadian politicians. That is going to be more of an obstacle for the next few weeks than actual public health concerns. The vaccine campaign is going really, really well, better than expected. There's, you know, chaotic details at the, the ground level in, in my home province of Ontario, but the aggregate numbers are amazing and they're holding up generally comparably across the rest of the country. We're going to be able to start reopening soon, at least in terms of with the other advanced nations. Do we throw open the border to everyone? Maybe not. But we can do it with the G7, with the Americans at least. We can probably do this actually really soon. A couple of weeks from now. Next month, by the latest. Any delay beyond that is probably more about political caution than public health concern. Let's get a plan. Let's begin reopening. If we keep vaccinating at this rate, we're going to crush this thing sometime during the summer. People will be very annoyed if we have a lag time between when we have actually beaten this thing and when our politicians are able to admit to themselves that the worst of this thing is truly behind us.